okay so hello friends today our topic is the ganglionic blocking agents so what are they so they are the agents that blocks the ganglionic signal transfer okay and remember they act only on nicotinic receptors okay not on muscarinic so nicotinic receptors are of two types you know that nerve to nerve that is nn and nerve to muscle that is nm now see in the diagram so here you can see so this is a nerve to nerve here it is a nerve to nerve nerve to nerve nerve to nerve here it is nerve to muscle so they act on mainly sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system okay now here let's draw a diagram here so this is a in terminal of a neuron and another neuron is starting cell body so nerve impulse get transferred from one neuron to another neuron it is mainly occurs here by two mechanisms first one is the here cholinergic drugs will act direct on the N, N receptors another one is the nerve impulse transfer by the depolarization so first there are two types of blocking agents first one will block the uh, receptor so that is competitive okay competitive antagonist and another one will be the depolarizing blocking agent depolarization or depolarizing blocking okay so these two are the main classification of drugs in the ganglionic blocking agents so now see the drugs so here are they so first one is the competitive blockers so three types quaternary ammonium compounds amines and the monosulfonium compounds so quaternary ammonium compounds the drugs are hexamethonium and pentolinium amines are mecamylamine and pimpirin monosulfonium compounds trimethophen and camphorsulfonate persistent depolarizing blockers nicotine and anticholinesterase so here you can see that they are depolarizing blockers